In lesson 5.5, we're going to be talking about the properties of parallelograms, and as you can see from our slide here, there are many of them. The first thing that you should notice in parallelograms is that opposite sides of the parallelograms are congruent. So you'll notice that in this particular picture, side LO and side DB are parallel to each other. In addition to side um, LE and OV being parallel to each other. In addition to being parallel, they're also congruent. So you'll see this congruent statement here as well. And that's why we see that um, segment LE is congruent to segment BO, and segment LO is congruent to segment EV. So opposite sides are not only parallel in a parallelogram, but they are congruent as well. The second, or possibly I guess you could say the third property, is the opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. So if we look at the opposite angles in these parallelograms, we see that angle LEV, which is the bottom left angle, is congruent to angle VOL, the top right angle. So for example, perhaps both of those are 60 degrees. Also, angle OLE, the angle on the top left is congruent to angle EVO, the bottom right. So for example, those could both be 120 degrees. So, so far we have opposite sides are parallel and congruent, and opposite angles are congruent. We also know that in a parallelogram that we have the diagonals bisecting each other. Not that they're equal, but they bisect each other. So that means that I know that the individual pieces of LM and VM are congruent to each other. Perhaps they're both three units long. Also, we know that segment EM and segment OM are congruent to each other. Those perhaps could be two units long. The other neat thing that we notice in this parallelogram is that the consecutive angles are supplementary, meaning that they add up to 180 degrees. So if I were to write in some values for those as an example, what I could say, if I'm looking at this property of consecutive angles being supplementary, is something I mentioned earlier. So for example, if I knew that um, angle LEB was 60 degrees, then I know that ELO would have to be 120. And if ELO is 120, then LOV has to be 60. And if LOV is 60, then OVE has to be 120. And you can see the relationships. And that's because the opposite angles were congruent from before in the very uh, in the second purple statement. And since they're consecutive, we know that they're going to be 180 degrees, or in other words, supplementary. So lots of different properties in a parallelogram. Don't forget um, that this parallelogram, uh, all these properties hold true at the same time.